What up, everyone? Franchise Sports TV. Back again with another <laughs> Kobe versus LeBron video. Something actually I've been planning on for the longest time because uh, every time I talk about Kobe versus LeBron, some little Stan say something stupid. Do you know these guys have the nerve to say what makes LeBron better than Kobe? And I, now I kid you not, it was on a. Uh, video one of the videos a long time ago and probably in the last couple of months i don't know why i didn't share it and i and i've seen this before i've seen this before on social media on instagram and somewhere else and I, every time i see it i'm like why is this even picking up steam when it comes to these two is this person trolling or are they just being stupid and ignorant and one of the reasons why some people say LeBron is better than Kobe because LeBron married a black woman and Kobe married a Mexican woman. I kid you not. This is how stupid these niggas. Sorry. Did I say that word? Nah, I'm going to say it anyway. This is how stupid these Negroes are. I finished it. Negroes. I compromise. That's how stupid they are. They're comparing families and wives now. LeBron started the school. Kobe didn't. That makes him better. That, this, this is where this is going. This is how stupid these arguments are. One of the reasons why I don't want to get engage with them anymore. Because they're not bringing anything to the table except saying stupid stuff like that. But anyways, um, not that stupid, but also I think it's stupid because they're not really looking at everything at the context here. Is the head-to-heads versus these two players um there's one thing that the stands don't take into account in. for one kobe bryant was drafted in 96 lebron was drafted in 03 by the time lebron got to the league kobe is well enough in his 20s with the wear and tear okay there it is uh lebron james has a 16 and 6 record over kobe in 22 games never met in the playoffs um and uh so far actually kobe averaged 24.6 points per game five rebounds five assists one steal and 0.2 blocks against lebron lebron averaged 28.2 7.4 7.3 1.9 and 0.7 oh, you see lebron's bigger faster stronger he can wrap my i hate that argument too LeBron's bigger, faster, and stronger. <laughs> That's still not a good way to, you know, prove a point. Because that doesn't mean anything. But anyways, uh, game highs. Kobe had 38 points, 12 rebounds. Well, this is not all one game, of course. Uh, 17 assists, 3 steals, 1 block. That's his highest in all of those. Um... LeBron James, 41, 13, 12 assists, four steals, and three blocks. Those are the game highs, and not in every game. Um, games were better stats than the other player. Kobe Bryant, eight games, four games, eight games points-wise, four games rebounds-wise, six games assists-wise, steals four, blocks two, LeBron, uh, 14 games, points, 15 games, rebounds, 15 games, assists, 13 games, steals, blocks, 10 games. Which is all fine and daddy. I ain't arguing with those facts. But like I said, you gotta dig a little deep, deeper with it. Just a little bit deeper. So the first game, I'm gonna go through all 22 games real quickly. The first game, January 12, 2004, LeBron's rookie year. Lakers win 89 Cavs 79. Kobe had 10 points. LeBron had 16. Uh, LeBron went out with the injury. Not LeBron. Kobe went out with the injury that game because he already played in 17 minutes. I think it was a shoulder injury for him. So uh, that's Kobe's first victory, even though he didn't play the full game. You can't even really count that. Think about it. Uh, Lakers next season, 05, 04, 05 season. Sorry. January 13, 2005, Lakers win 98, Cavs 94, Kobe 2 points, LeBron 28. 
Uh, so this kind of tells you right here why LeBron has a little bit more points because Kobe practically was injured the first two games. But anyways, see, this is the type of stuff they don't, the, the stands always just bring out. They say that, which is true. I ain't disputing that. Can't dispute the record, but you got to look deeper and see why this happened. They don't do that. They just throw crap out there. February 13, 2005. Lakers 89, Cavs 103. Now, this is the season when Kobe was basically on his home. And I think Smush Parker, Kwame Brown, maybe was all there. Yeah, the trash ass team. No disrespect to Kwame or even Smush Parker. Uh, Kobe had 26. LeBron had 25 points. Um, and I think around this time, LeBron's starting to get the better team just a little bit. I don't think LeBron got the team that you see in the finals until probably some time later um keep going on try to go through this quickly 0506 season actually i think this is the season that the lakers returned to the playoffs after that abysmal season the year before that lakers went 99 98 kobe had 27 lebron had 28 and um uh, like i said you gotta look at the team's assist rate or assists LeBron had nine. Kobe had two. 37 minutes. Kobe went nine for 21. LeBron went 11 for 22. 42%, huh? To 50%. Um, but the guy, Lakers got the win. The next time they played was in Cleveland. I think that might be in Cleveland. I don't know how this is even going, actually. Um, I don't remember. Lakers would lose by one. 96-95. Kobe had 38. LeBron had 29. And this is also the time when Kobe was going on that scoring rampage as well, too. This is around that time. Now, the 06 07 season, Lakers lose 90 to 99. LeBron's team is definitely better if you look at it. Points and look at the personnel wise, definitely better than Kobe's team at this time. And they sweep the Lakers 114 to 108. Uh, it's the second game. The first game, 90 to 99, Kobe had 36, LeBron only had 18. Uh, Lakers in the second game, 108 to 114, Kobe had 34, LeBron had 38. Now, the 07 08 season was a little bit different, but I think this, whenever that trade was with Paul Gasol, hold on right quick, when was that trade for Paul Gasol that season? So, December 20, 2007, the Cavs win 94-90. Kobe had 21, LeBron had 33. The second game, January 27, 2008, uh, Cavs win by three, 98-95. Keep in mind, all these games are pretty much close. LeBron had 41, Kobe had 33. And in both of these games, Paul Gasol was not there yet because Paul Gasol was traded to the Lakers on February 1st, 2008. So that also matters as well. And I think... Bynum wasn't even playing. I think he might have been hurt. Maybe even Trevor DeRiza too. So he didn't even have a full team yet. All right, let's move on. 08 09 season. Lakers win 105. Cavs 88. Uh, practically, this is when actually the Lakers had a better team than the Cavs. Because now this is the 09 08 09 season. Like I said, Lakers win 105 to 88. Kobe had 20. LeBron had 23. He has Paul Kobe has Paul Gasol, Bynum, Trevor Ariza, and does not have Ron Artest yet. That's the next year after that. But uh, he has the better team, no doubt. Second game, February 8th, 09. Lakers went 101 to 91. I think I remember watching this game and watching how much Kobe actually, maybe it wasn't that game. It could have been a year after that. Get my years mixed up. But, anyways, uh, Kobe had 19, LeBron had 16. Sweep for the Lakers. The old 10, uh, 2010, 09, 10 season. I can't talk right now. Uh, on Christmas, this is a Christmas game. Cavs win 102.87. Kobe actually looked brilliant out there, but somewhat, but he was shooting terribly. I do kind of remember this game. Maybe my memory's all mixed up. All these damn Christmas Day games. Um, Kobe had 35, but he did shoot 11 for 33. Uh, LeBron James had 26 points, but he shot 9 for 19. 
I also had more rebounds than LeBron too. Kobe did. Uh, that was the first game on Christmas, 2010. On my January 21st, 2010, LeBron had 37. Kobe had 31. 93-87. That was a sweep by the Cavs right there. And this is where it really gets different. Because you know what happens after that season. Uh, 2010. It was like time these two will meet. And LeBron will be in a different jersey. December 25th. 2010 to be exact. Lakers went by 16. Uh, Heat went by 16. 80-96. Kobe had 20. No, he had 17. LeBron had 27. So now... LeBron is with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, and uh, pretty much by this time, the Lakers, Aim and Kobe on himself, were on the downside. Uh, Heat win 94-88. Kobe had 24. LeBron had 29. Um, I think I might remember this game, too. There's a couple of these games I actually do remember as you get closer in. Cause I remember sometimes the Lakers would wear their yellow jerseys while the Heat would wear their black L Heat or something like that jerseys around that time. Uh, the next season, 2012, no, 2011-2012 season, January 19, 2012, Lakers lose 87-98, Kobe had 24, LeBron had 31, March 04, uh, Lakers win actually 93-83, 33 for Kobe, 25 for LeBron. Um, these two meet again in 2012 season the heat will sweep and then they'll meet again for the last three times starting with the old 2014-15 season Lakers lose 102-109 to Kobe had 19 LeBron had 36 and as you know by this time uh, 2014 15 season, the Lakers absolutely suck. Kobe is practically a shell of himself as well, but they, 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 they don't talk about that. They don't mention that. Um, the Lakers, for the last, Kobe's last season in the league, um, Cavs sweep because this is when he's back on the Cavs. He only played, that makes sense now. He only played the season before that started, but not the backtrack. 2014-15 season, they only played once because I think Kobe was probably hurt. Uh, so February 10, 2016, 120-111 was the final score. Kobe had 17, LeBron had 29. And I do remember this game. I remember this game because I was hanging out with the homies in L.A. And the homie and his brother, younger brother, actually went to this game. We did not go to this game. But anyways, Lakers win, lose 108-120. is the last meeting between these two. Kobe had 26, LeBron had 24. So that was pretty much it. But like I said, most of these games have a couple of different factors. Either Kobe got hurt, or Kobe was hurt, or LeBron had the better team, which is very evident when he went to the Heat. And, uh, doesn't always tell. Lastly, not to get mixed up. Lastly, it doesn't always tell the whole picture between who these two are better. Because I actually saw this comment on my video who, I think it was the video when I was talking about who would win on the one-on-one -on -one between these two. And somebody tried to add that Kobe won lost 16 times to LeBron as a way to uh, say which one will win on the one-on-one, -on -one, which is stupid because that doesn't mean anything. So, it is true. Yes, he beat him 16 times. But at the same time, you got to look at the factors that led up to these 16 times and what was surrounding that. They don't do that. They just throw stuff out there. I hope it sticks. Doesn't make... <laughs> I don't know why they think uh, LeBron beating Kobe 16 times it qualifies as LeBron being better. When we obviously seen these two go to head to head on a one-on-one -on -one basis during the game, and it does not favor LeBron very well. <laughs> 125, 120, the West by eight, with just under three to go in the fourth. Oh, the block by Bryant. Bryant, 
Jacoby's been Ding them up for the last three minutes. Here's the the block shot by by Kobe. You don't see this many places except in the NBA. Kobe Bryant fade over a great contest by LeBron. Really, the man didn't the man didn't want to dribble the ball no more. He wanted to pass the ball. He became a passer after that. Bigger, faster, stronger. The evidence is there. Kobe's better, hands down. Shut up. Come on now, dog. Come on, man.